you are the omnipotent Father among other gods, O oh Lord, there is no like you. You are the, you are the omnipotent God, omnipotent Father God, among God and gods, my daddy, there is none like you. Lord, I praise you, Lord, I praise you. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I leave to name my God. Among God our fathers, there is no like you. O many ports and Savior, O many ports and Father, among God I God, oh God, there is none like you. Lord, I give you my hope. Lord, I give you my praise, God. Among God I God, oh Lord, there is none like you. Ah, Lord, I thank you. I worship you. Almighty God, there is none like you. I worship you, O Prince of Peace. That is all I want. I want to do, and I give you praise, for you are my righteousness. Lord, I worship you, God, I worship you. Almighty, Almighty God, and there is no like you. Lord, there is no like you, God. God, I worship you. Kawali Roshanalabale. Almighty, Lord, Almighty God, and that is all. Lord, I want you to, and I give you praise, for you are my righteousness, oh God, I worship you, Lord, God Almighty, Lord Almighty, Almighty God, and there is none like you. Lord, there is no like you, God. I worship you, Lord. Almighty, Lord, Almighty God, Lord. And that is all I want to do. 
and I give you praise for you are my righteousness. Lord, you become my righteousness. Oh God, you become my holiness. Lord, you become my holiness. Oh Lord, you become my righteousness. Oh God, I worship you. And Almighty, Almighty, Almighty God, Lord, there is none like you. No one has never been, Lord, like you, God. Jesus, no one has ever tried to be just like you, God. Lord, many at times they try, Lord, all of them did fail. And as they are about to start, they fall down and they bow down before you. And the Bible tells me who is like a God. And so, Lord God, I worship you. And so, Lord God, I lift your banner so high. And so, Lord God, I receive grace, Lord, from you, God. I worship you, Almighty Lord, Almighty God, God. Jesus, there is none like you. I've come to the heart of worship. Everything I've got, Lord, is for you. Lord God, I worship you. Hallelujah. I read from Psalm 51. It says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy hills? Who shall walk in, who shall either walk it uprightly and walk it righteousness and speak it the truth in his heart? He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor does it evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a veiled person is condemned, but he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that soareth to his own heart and changeth not, he that putteth not his own mourning to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent, he that does it these things shall never be moved. Hallelujah. I want to worship God this morning. I want to give him all the praise because there is none like him. There is none like our God. There is none like our God. There is none like our God. There is no like you, God. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search through how things and it's in love. And there is none like you. Lord, there is none, there is none, there is none like you. Lord, we have searched through our eternity, Lord. And I found none, God. There is none like you. Your mercy forms like rivers so high, oh God, Lord. Lord, your mercy, they fall like rivers so high, God. And your healing comes from your hands so high. 
Suffering children are saved, Lord, in your hands, God. And I say, Lord God, there is none like you. There is none like you. There is no like our God. Yes, there is none like you. There is no like our God. There is none like you. Lord, I say there is none, there is none, there is no like a God. There is none like a God. No one else can touch my heart just like you do. I can say your truth out in eternity, God, and I found no. God, just like there is none like you. I have said throughout eternity, God, I have found none, God. There is no like my Creator. Oh, no one, no one. I have said in the high and the lowly path, Lord, and I found none, God. There is none like you. Your mercy falls like rivers so high, Lord. Healing comes from your hands so high. And suffering children can be saved, Lord, in your hands. Suffering children can be saved, Lord, in your hands. And there is no one, there is no one like you. There is no one, there is no one like you. There is no one, and there is no one God like you. Amen. There is no one like a father. This morning, Father, we just want to appreciate you. We thank you, Father, because there is none like you. There is none like you. We worship you this morning. We give you all the praise. We give you all the thanks. We give you, Daddy, all the adoration because there is no one like you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope you are having a nice time today. Hallelujah. This is our time to worship the Lord. This is our time to bless him because there is no one like him. There is no one. When we look around, no one no one will look from the higher hierarchy from the higher hierarchy to the lowest and you will begin to find out that no one no one is like him no one no one we look at the kings we look at the presidents we look at those in higher status no one is like him we look at even leaders we look at pastors none can be compared to him we look at homes we look at families none can be compared to him he's the chief of all chief is a managing director is a whole and whole is a everlasting father and today we are looking at him as our refuge camp christ is our refuge camp we have nowhere to go to for me i have nowhere to go to you know when i look around i i go round and round i go to the west i go to the south i go to the east and i stand in just one place at the center of the world and i find out that no one is like our god there is no one that is like our God. And so, you know, today I place my shoulder on him and I kneel on him because none can be compared to his glory. No power can be compared to his glory. Hallelujah. Today we are going to read Psalm 13. Psalm 13 says, How long would thou forget me? A lot of people have been forgotten, either by God or either by people. A lot of people, there is no mercy. You know, they don't have mercy in the sight of men. And for some of them, they don't even have mercy in the sight of God. 
Why? Because of their sins. But today, you are receiving mercy in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus is available. If you can open up your heart, if you can ask him to forgive you all your sins, because the Bible says, for all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. These are mess, uh, Bible verses that we do not want to forget. These are Bible verses that we want to quote every second and every minute so that it will help us to avoid sin. Have I sinned? Have I been a sinner before? Yes. Have I been a sinner before? Yes. Everyone has sinned. Everyone created by man. Everyone born by man. Sorry. Everyone born by man has committed sin before they became righteous. And so do not allow any man or any woman condemn you and mute you or put you in a tight corner and keep on using hammer to be nailing on you. Get out of that place. Get out of that place that they've mute you on. Get out of that place that you've become a slave for too long. Get out of it and release yourself and say, God, I receive my freedom today in Jesus' name. And God is the, the, the psalmist is questioning God. The psalmist is asking, how long will thou forget me? The psalmist is questioning the heavens. How long, oh God, will you forget me? How many are my sins? How many are my iniquities that the blood of Jesus cannot forgive? The Bible says, prove ye me. The Bible has even said, would you challenge him by the works of his hand? How long will you forget me, oh God, in my iniquities, in my suffering, in my pain? How long, oh God? The mouths of men are going to condemn and judge you. But God, in his infinite mercy, surely he will give you victory that you deserve in Jesus' name. Amen. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? I go to verse, verse 2 again. For lo, the wicked bend their bows. They make ready their arrows upon the, upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in heart. Every day, their plan is to do what? Is to shoot you. As they see you trying to do something good, as they see you trying to excel in your endeavors, the enemy is not happy. Where does she think she is going to? And they try to pull you down. I remember I watched one of my favorite uh, uh, preachers, Funke Adejuma, and she said, the enemy will look for a way to mute you. The enemy will look for a way to do what? To mute you. Not that you cannot speak, not that you cannot talk, but he will do everything to do what? To mute you and to put you in a remote area, in a remote corner, so that you cannot cry out, you cannot speak, you cannot do anything. Even to eat, you cannot eat. As you're eating, you are crying, you're in depression. Today, we come out of such evil depression and such evil mute in the name of Jesus. Amen. For lo, the wicked bend their bows. They make ready their arrows upon the string, that they may privily shoot at the upright in their hearts. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? We're going to pray today that our foundation will not be destroyed in Jesus' name. You know, I keep on talking about foundation. Foundation of a family. Foundation of a church. Foundation of a, of a society. Foundation of a group of people. Foundation of an individual lives. We want to re-erect our foundation. I see in America a lot of times, a beautiful house can be so beautiful, a beautiful company can be so beautiful, and they can decide to, you know, pull it down from the foundation and we erect something else that they like. What has been your foundation? You can choose to pull down and build again. And the Lord will build you again once more in Jesus' name. He will build you more better than the way you were before. The way people have said things about you, the Lord will change your narrative. He will change your story to his glory in Jesus' name. Because you are called. The Lord has called you and you are favored in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord in his holy temple. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His highs behold. His highs, his high leads try. The children of men. I will read that again. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His highs behold. His highs is his eyelids try the children of men. The Lord tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that 
love it violence is so hated i pray that every works of violence and you know every works of wickedness and violence god will give us the grace to run away from it in jesus name every spirit of wickedness there is a spirit of wickedness there are people who try to feel that they love you but there are wickedness in their hearts example is pharaoh pharaoh will feed you he will give you crumbs of food where he will ask you to go do labor that you are not able to do jobs that you are not able to do pharaoh will try to smile with you but he will smite you and kill you he tried to populate and also depopulate the children of israel he tried every avenue to frustrate the children of israel we have pharaohs like that I don't know if I'm saying the right thing. The Lord tries the righteous, but the wicked and him that loveth violence is so hated. Upon the wicked it shall rain snares fire, it shall rain, it shall rain snares, fire and brainstorm, and an horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. This is what God is saying concerning the wicked. For the righteous law, for the righteous Lord loveth righteousness, his countenance doth behold the upright. He behold the countenance of the upright. He loves the upright as they cry to him, as they pray to him. It's not that God loves tears, but as the children of Israel ever always cry to him, the Lord is never happy when they when they cry to him. I remember when Jesus Christ was born, even as he was a child, like I was watching Jesus of Nazareth, as a child, he saw the children of Israel crying, pleading for mercy. He saw how Herod went about killing the children. And Jesus was not happy, even as a baby, even as he grew up, and he saw how the enemy would come and invade the children of Israel, take their bread, destroy their houses, do a lot of bad things to them. Jesus was not happy as a child at that time because his time has not come. He, he was like kind of muted. He could not do anything at that time. He saw the pains of the children of Israel. And so likewise you, God is seeing your pains. God is seeing your sufferings. The Lord in his infinite mercy will wash your eyes, will clean up your face, and will dry up your tears. A time will come you will smile. You will smile. You will smile. You will like, God, am I the one smiling? I've never smiled before. I've never smiled before. I've been condemned. I've been looked down upon. The Lord will change your narrative. It will change your story for good in Jesus' name. Whatever the enemy has written against you, the Lord is bringing a new slate. You're going to be clean, washed with the precious blood of Jesus. The narratives of men, you will not look at them no more. Or rather, you look at the altar and the finisher of your faith. Because Jesus is the altar and the finisher of our faith forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. You are going to look at Psalm 8. That will be the last Psalm we are going to look at. Then we will pray. Sorry, this place is kind of a little bit busy. Outside is a little bit busy. So you're going to be hearing uh, sounds of cars around. Forgive me. I think today is the day that they come to, to collect our trash. So this place is going to be busy this morning. So we are looking at Psalm 8. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the heads. Who has set thy glory above the heavens? Out of the mouth of babies and sucklings hast thou ordained strength, because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. This is for us in Jesus' name. The Lord is still the, he will steal the mouths of the enemies and the avengers in Jesus' name. In your family, in your home. Begin to pray that for your family, for your home. He will steal. He will steal the enemy's mouth and their vengeance in Jesus' name. The Lord's name is exalted in our lives. His name is glorified in our lives, in our homes. As we keep on trusting Him, as we keep on believing in Him, 
His name is ever exalted. His name is ever lifted up. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. When I consider the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? What is me? Who am I? I'm nothing. You can imagine how doctors can make a man to sleep and they operate on that man. And I'm like, what is in this man that makes this man to wake up again and talk? What is this man that makes this man to go to the toilet, you know, to urinate? What is this man that, you know, there is this thing in this man that can move again? His hands can move to eat, his nose, he can sneeze. It's a mystery. The creation of man is a mystery. Man himself is a mystery. The way we talk is a mystery. Because when operations are being done, the person is, I'm like, what is inside here? It's just blood, water, flesh. And this flesh can do mighty things by the time they wake up. It's amazing. Our God is amazing. He is an amazing God. There's a song that says, He's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. They keep on saying, He's amazing. There's a song that says, He's amazing. God's amazing. God is amazing. He's an amazing God. Hallelujah. You make me laugh this morning. <laughs> what is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him? But thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and has crowned him with the glory, and has crowned him with glory and honor. By the grace of God, we are crowned with glory and honor. The trick is that try and give your life to Christ, and you will see a difference in your life. You are crowned with glory and honor. I pray the Lord open our eyes to see the glory and the crown that Christ has put on our head. And the light and the angels that watches over us and in the day and at night, in the afternoon. Even when the enemy, you know, try to do their evil havoc at night and they come during the day to come and manipulate and all that stuff. God is there. God is watching over us. His eyes behold everything. His eyes sees the works of the wicked. The wicked might last long. But you see, God's judgment will come at the right time. Hallelujah. I'm going to stop here and pray. Hallelujah. Because we just bought a new house and I need to like do one or two things. The Lord will bless you. As the Lord opened doors for us, favors my family, the Lord will also favor your family too, your homes too. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Blessed be the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's close our eyes and pray. Tower up of ages, we just want to appreciate you. We thank you, Father, for the word that we have received and the grace that you have given unto us, oh God, to impart somebody, oh God, who is out there. Father, who is distressed, who is weak, who is sad. Lord, as you put, oh God, joy in my heart, as you put joy in my heart, as you make my heart to merry, oh God, as you, as you change, oh God, the narratives of my life, oh God, I thank you, Father, because this morning you are changing, oh God, the narrative of somebody who is out there, who need help in Jesus them somebody who have been muted oh god who the enemy has muted somebody oh god who the enemy has put in a cage father today i am praying oh god in the name of jesus christ that every chain oh god of darkness every chain every slavery close in the name of jesus as the veil was oh god turn oh god as the veil oh god broke in the name of jesus as there was separation at the veil in the name of jesus when jesus died i pray today in the name of jesus every veil every darkness in the eyes of people whatever that have bound people whatever that have made people